Today's video is about journal entries. How do you use manual journals for creating transactions in customers as well as vendors? Since start, we've always been advocating that never, never use journal entries for customers and vendors. Journal entries are only for instances which are not covered in sales and purchase module. But today we will see how do you use journal entries for recording certain transactions for customers as well as vendors. So uh, let's start with the accountant module. Under the accountant module, we have manual journals. In the manual journals, create a new journal. To record transactions pertaining to uh, customers and vendors, as we all know, customers is traced with accounts receivable and vendors is tracked with the control account, accounts payable. Uh, use any uh, the date corresponding to the transactions, feed, feed a narration. We'll take a scenario where I want to knock off my customers against my vendors. There's certain balance in my customer. I want to knock it off against vendor. How do you record that? So being balance set off. This is a narration field. Like I mentioned, accounts payable is my vendor account. I'll select accounts payable and under the contact, I'll select the corresponding contact. In my case, it is uh, vendor by the name Zoho Guru Consulting Private Limited. Now this vendor account I want to knock off by let's say 500 rupees. Accounts receivable. Let's say it's the same customer. So ensure you're selecting vendors in the contact in accounts payable and customer in the accounts receivable. Okay, 500 and save. It's as simple as that. I'll navigate to the respective vendors and customers to show you how it looks like. In my case, both of them are merged together. So the same vendor and the sales transactions, we have invoices, payments, and then when you scroll down, you have journal entries, wherein you'll reflect the journal entry of 500. Let's go to the statement. In the statement as well, if you scroll down, you have the journal effect already come here. Okay. Now there are instances which I'd like to highlight where you can use the journal and where you can't use the journal. So let's see those instances. Manual journals in Zoho books. When can you use them and when can't you use them? The first instance with respect to customers and vendors is to reduce the balance of your customer where you will credit the customer and similarly reducing balance of the vendor where you will debit the vendor. The, the example which we just saw. That is possible, that is advised to be done. You can use journal entries for recording such transactions, crediting the customers and debiting the vendors. The other way around, where you want to increase the balance of the customer or you want to increase the balance of the vendor, that is a big no, no, no. The reason why, I'm going to just stay on this uh, slide for a second. Crediting the customers, debiting the vendors, possible, done, no problem. We all just did that. But the other way around, debiting the customers or crediting the vendors, a big no for that. The reason, let's record a similar transaction, but the other way around. I'm sure you guys are aware that manual journals can also be reversed, create reversal entry. So everything remains same, debit goes credit, credit goes debit. I'll save. The transaction does save, there's no problem with that. But let's go to our customer now. This is what it looks like. I have an outstanding receivable of 2,99,500 in my customer account. And for the same party, the vendor account has an outstanding payable of 2,7,000. We passed the 500 rupee payment entry in each of the accounts with that first journal entry. That's used, that's available in the unused credit. I click on that. I can apply this to my invoices. My invoice is 2,95 plus 4,000, which is outstanding in these two invoices respectively. So 295 plus 4 makes it 299. There's no 500 at the end. So this 500 rupees, I can apply it. Let's say against this 4000 uh, invoice of uh, the balance of 4000. Similarly, on the vendor side, I'm using this 500 to apply against bills. My bill is outstanding is 206,500. And you can see outside showing as payable 207,000 round figure. So there's an excess. 500 rupees increase in my customer and as well as vendor account which has come from that last entry which we passed that journal entry right now this 2,99,000 the breakup of this is only 2,98,500 that excess 500 rupee uh, credit to the 
vendor and debit to the customer which has come through this journal entry journal entry uh, number 17 you can't knock it off so it will stay in your receivables for life okay so let's say i i receive money for all my invoices i'll go ahead and uh, record payment i have another invoice let's say i'm not going to receive payment so we'll write that off now my customer ideally is zero because all my invoices are paid my receivables are zero but if i look at the overview page i have 500 rupees yet to receive and if i go to the statement there also it will show that 500 rupees is balance due now let's say my customer genuinely makes this payment of 500 rupees okay amount received 500 everything else will keep the same it's prompting to save as advance and you can see there's no invoice available to tag it against so my overview will always show that there's an outstanding receivable of 500 which practically i cannot apply credits against and uh, there is an available credit of 500 which we just recorded the payment but if i go to apply it to invoices there are no invoices open so coming back to what we discussed the first option to credit the customer debit the vendor that's possible that's advisable the second option debit the customer credit the vendor although it's possible it's not advisable because it will stay as unused or unadjusted amounts in your customer or vendor account until zo comes up further updates right so i hope this was informative and helpful uh, do subscribe to zoho guru if you've not already subscribed link uh, details everything are in the description thank you so much